The future of Lost Ark looks very promising if it didn't already. Uh, we're going to be going over everything that was just announced in this year's Loa On event. If you're not familiar with what Loa On it is, it's essentially the State of the Union slash roadmap, future roadmap announcement for Lost Ark. So there's a lot to get through here. So I'm going to do my very best to really, really, really be straightforward and just knock out all these bullet points. These are all the notes that I took in order of the presentation. Okay, so we're going to be going over everything in the order in which it was presented in the presentation. I've got timestamps based off of when I started recording my video, which is pretty much when the director came out. And we're going to go right into the first one. The first one was the Cuckoo Satan uh, and April um, changes that they made here. And as you can see, um, pretty straightforward. They've limited the um, the entry, so now so now you cannot enter the rehearsal after 1475, and you can't re uh, you cannot excuse me enter deja vu after 1490. It's been a long day. Please excuse me. <laughs> um, so pretty straightforward there, and then there are some other uh, changes made as far as um, entering. Uh, like removal of hell mode and, and changing it into a normal mode there. Um, the next thing that they went over is the balance changes here. Uh, they've essentially uh, announced that they are working on improving balance encounters across all classes. They're adding a third awakening, uh, which is highly likely to be released in 2023. Um, awakening skill that is uh, and class balance screenshot roadmap is this bottom image here that has the blue background uh, you guys could take a look at this pause the video if you guys want to read it it's directly translated so as you can see the top right here this area right here you see at the top with the four bullet points it's translated into third awakening uh, third awakening and class as uh, new ultimate added new skills added etc etc you can see that they are working uh, they are going to be working towards adjusting identity, um, the identity for certain classes as some of them they feel is kind of lackluster. Uh, they're, they're going to try to fix up worthless tripods, unused old skills, uh, add skills, just the works. And this is the order in which they're going to do it. So you could, you guys could take a look at that if you, uh, if you'd like. Next thing is the PVP balance here. Not too much, but some major changes here. Uh, originally PVP was based off of 1250 stat points a uh, thousand being the maximum you could put into a single skill point they've now reduced that to a thousand total stat, stat points possible with 750 being the max per stat they've also increased the field of vision uh, or the fov for pvp this is going to make it a lot easier especially for newer players to see more uh, and it's definitely going to change the meta quite a bit uh, both the stat points and the field of vision uh, and the last thing that they mentioned as far as the pvp was they want to try to equalize the airborne and dis or the airborne cc duration across all classes and they almost they, they actually labeled the current situation with how certain classes have extremely long periods of cc duration on a certain cc versus others that have much shorter cc duration as as almost like a semi bug they did they they said it's obviously not a bug but it's it's all it can almost be considered to be one and it's something that they absolutely will address gold inflation and uh, just a bunch of quality of life stuff it's stuff is next gold inflation 27 percent of the total gold pro is produced from argos which was too high they want to change that um they are changing it now so that no more gold payment will be given there will be no more gold payment after six raids uh, across all characters so this is definitely going to change the whole alt experience as that's you can't be you won't you just won't be making any more gold after you do after you do six raid runs essentially so this is going to definitely change the amount of gold that's being pumped into the game and how you actually go about making that gold the other thing that they've done is they've changed some of the um crystal consumptions um and changed it into gold like for example when you finish certain instances you can spend your crystals to get additional items and now that's going to be replaced with gold as you can see from the right side of the screenshot there other things that they've announced were some nice little additions as far as rewarding those who have high-end achievements in the form of trophies in the form of pets so you can kind of see this as like world of warcraft achievements and honors stuff like that really really nice stuff to reward the people that are uh, able to achieve 
you know, just rare stuff in, 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 in PvE. When you get to tier 4, you don't have to worry about any gear resets as there were resets for tripods. No resets for when the tier 4 gear comes out. Excuse me, as far as how the tier 4 gear is going to be released, a lot of that is going to be announced later on. Uh, they also address the customer service and and the issues that they've had with customer service taking up to 10 weeks to handle stuff. They're going to try and improve and push for three to four day uh, resolutions. And then after that, we just went over a lot of future improvements, quality of life stuff. Uh, MVPs now, you can choose a custom pose if you MVP. Um, really nice little um, feature there for those who, you know just want to look good when they MVP at the end of the day. They've added markers for back and head attacks as well now for, for a lot of these bosses, for these bosses rather. Um, and, and this is a really good one because head and, ba head and back attacks are really important. Sometimes it can be kind of awkward to figure out where they're facing. And these are these markers are also customizable, so you can only see the back or only see the front if that's what you wanted to do as well. Improved widgets, editable, editable buff markers, uh, world map improvements, quality of life set menu improvements, secret map uh, from Chaos Gates now will have a scan prevent if you've done those you know exactly what I'm talking about also they've changed it just like the other um, anti alt uh, mechanism here they've changed it so now that challenge guardian raids you could do it three times per character and you can only do that three times so you can only do it a total of nine times so no more running like 20 alts and doing you know like 48 raids a day or whatever that may be <laughs> right uh, more UI changes uh, jukebox Changes or addition, I'm not so sure about that, but they, they were going over this new jukebox, fe jukebox feature. Um, daily check, a, a daily checker, this is a huge quality of life improvement for those who are progressed. Essentially, you can track everything that you've done. A lot of these dailies that, you've, that you need to do or have done across all your characters, since you will be more than likely playing multiple characters. Um, you could also enter dungeons from anywhere now, more auction house, browse slash search improvements, upgraded selfie slash portrait mode for those of you who like those selfies, and they are also pushing for DX11. This change is actually going to be implemented in KR next week. Uh, they found that there's an ex there is a significant increase in FPS, and they are going to be adding this, and um, yeah, they're going to be adding the DX11. One of the things that most people were waiting for in this uh, Loa announcement, in this Loa event, was the new Specialist class, which was announced. The Specialist class, they are going to be releasing at first. There, there are two planned classes. One is a Support class, which is the Painter you see up top here. And one is a DPS class, which is a Weather-based class. Aeromancer or Meteorologist, we don't know what it's going to be called yet, but this is going to be a DPS class. We didn't see any footage of this class, the Meteorologist, or the Aeromancer, we'll just call it Aeromancer for now, which is the bottom class here. It's got an umbrella, really cool looking class, but we did get to see some of the gameplay for the Painter class, which looks really fucking cool. Uh, and it, again, it is a support class, at, while the Aeromancer is a DPS class, and we will take a look at the trailer for the Painter class here. <laughs>
Now, the other class that was announced later, it's interesting that they didn't announce it right after they announced this class, was actually the female Zerker. And this is the only image that we got from her. They are planning on releasing this. So this is it. For those of you who wanted to play as female Zerker, here you go. She looks pretty fucking badass. Now we get into more of the open world PvP content. The stuff that everyone said was lacking in Lost Ark and holy shit did they add a lot of stuff here. So there is a new continent and if you've read, if you saw my video before I did talk about the Rowan, the Rowan continent. It's a little, I'm a little bit unsure with how they, how, how they're going to be releasing the Rowan content and the Tulabi, the tool, the Tulabi content, the Tulabi, is it the Turbik? Sorry, the two, it's, it's pronounced like Tulabi in, in Korean, but it's, I guess, going to be pronounced Turbik. Uh, and I don't know if Turbik is a region or a continent or, or what it is, but regardless, um, they're going to be released separately and you'll see the roadmap at the end of the video. But if we're to go over the Rowan first right here at the top, it says Lost Ark's first realm versus realm continent, Land of the Cruel Tear. Tear is a, is a name. Uh, the war between the war between powers for Silmail Crystals. Silmail Crystals being the guild currency. And then on the bottom here, this is the, um, the announcement for Turbik. The long story war of of Pregeli versus Liberta. As you can see, the blue faction Pregeli, I think it's Pregeli, I think I'm saying that right, and the red faction being Liberta, which you will choose one of those two factions. Uh, Lost Ark Auth Authentic Realm versus Realm War. The best slash top scale of war, the best, the best slash top scale of war, occupy bases and collect special magic to defeat the enemy so this is straight up just realm versus realm open pk content um there's continent there's there's resource on the continent open world open pk realm versus realm there are many concerns they did mention that there are many concerns on open pk but they do have measures for them they didn't get into in they didn't get into detail there and we don't know how they're going to scale the pvp as far as like the gear goes or any of that stuff they, as they just didn't get into that as far as as far as I know um, as far as the land of Turbik goes as as I just went over um, there's there is the there is the faction war essentially and you're gonna be choosing one of the two factions here the next thing that they announced was the star guard siege this was something that I wasn't actually aware of um, this is a war between guilds Op occupying guild the occupy this is a GVG this is GVG content and you know it's important it's it, it as you can see read from my bullet point here occupying guild is important this is actually going to be released on 20 uh, 12 29 i think it's just the rowan content and again i'm not sure exactly what comes with the rowan content i don't know if it's the star guard siege that comes with it or if it's just a different rvr but we're going to get the beginnings of this very very soon in kr so it'll be really interesting to see it uh but as far as the star guard siege goes some of the things that they've mentioned here is it is a war for the highest honor among guilds the best siege war show slash production it's literally what they said uh flexing various sieges slash feel the power of siege weapons in the battle the battle of true strength so this is like competitive guild versus guild stuff i mean I don't know what to say, guys. Just really, really good content coming up. I'm super excited for it. Elgas Elgasia, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Elgasia is the next thing that they announced. And I didn't translate all of this stuff because it's really self-explanatory. This is more PvE stuff. Uh, they're going to be uh, releasing a new uh, Abyss dungeon called Kaegel right here uh just more pve stuff coming in they did go on to say and warn you once you finish the elgasia region um there will be a 15 minute story cutscene be aware of that make sure you have enough time to watch it um when you get to that point uh there will be an elgas El elgasia after story and more command uh Commander raids here. The first one being uh, Al Alice Alician uh, Iliakan. Iliakan. Iliakan is how you pronounce it in Korean. That's the one. On, that's the, the top one right here. And the other one on the bottom is Kamel. The Iliakan is a shorter version. Um, I think that it. I, I'm trying to remember my notes here. Uh, it, it is expected to come out in the summer. Uh, while the Kamen one here at the bottom is going to be difficult. 
pretty much is what they said. Uh, there are also new Guardian raids. There is a Toad Guardian raid called Gargadith that's expected to come out. And a another new continent called... Whoops, that's not the one. Sorry about that, guys. Another new continent called uh, Fletchy. It literally, it, in Korean, it's called Pleche. Pleche. So, like, Fletche. Fletch, flesh? Fleche? Fletche. I guess we'll go with... I'll get, I guess we'll go with Fletche for now. <laughs> I guess we'll go with Fletcher. Um, and then after Fletcher, which is the story zone, there you have Bold Eyes. So essentially what's happening here, guys, is TLDR, you got Rowan, and then you're gonna have Algacia, and then you're gonna have Algacia after story, and then you have Fletcher, and then you're gonna have Bold Eye. That's the order in which they're planning on releasing it. Um, and yeah, pretty self-explanatory there, right? Next, we have more content that's being released that's which just blows my mind considering how much pvp content that they released and pve content for that matter they also announced a moba mode this is called the aos mode um tower slash moba as you can see translated here light casual fun games to play pvp that requires operation and strategy use the map slash area and environment is what they're saying here you have the moba mode and then you also have a t 2d scroll side scroll island mode this is like your maple story mode i guess uh enjoy 2d acrecia adventure horizontal scroll action rpg running jumping guang which is they're just making sound effects here multiple cute stages hashtag super cute hashtag super cutie hashtag Hashtag super duper. Uh, the next one is the loop of the abyss, and people were comparing this to like a Mario Party type of type of content. Um, something you know, but something new. So, a Lost Ark's combination of fun elements, right amount of tension while playing due to its popular difficulty I, I i it's kind of vague we're gonna see some gameplay and footage here pretty soon there was one more and that is the primordial island i more to like a survival i should probably change this more to the survival i should have opened with this sorry guys um and this this is like a survival it's like a survival game type with dinosaurs it's kind of interesting lost ark style survival game various weapons with different battle methods strategy play safe zone stealth dinos roar friend or foe is, is pretty much what it's saying and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the videos for each of these four game modes I guess we can call them uh, right now I don't know, is this the, the faction is this? this might be the faction thing what look how many people there are what? Man, like I, I I'm feeling I'm in a fever dream again like what is the thing? what a dinosaur <laughs> with the spark right oh it's the uh it's the battery out it's the battle royale. What? Oh, dude, this looks crazy. Battle royale. Oh, there's only here. set classes for the battle royale. Oh, to make it more balanced. I see. No, oh, is it? Yeah, is it? These, these are these are specifically oh, made. They're not oh, the same. Oh, 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 I see. These Fucking Jurassic Park the... up in this bitch. What the hell? Oh, here we go. This, yeah, this one MOBA. Is... They're showing Shrek already. <laughs> They're showing Shrek. It told you it's gonna be good. A Dude, oh, but he's also getting wombo. <laughs> oh, Lance Cancer, of course, winning against. No. Yeah. That's true. Dude, there it is. Uh oh. That's Ooh. that's bullshit. That would never happen. <laughs> no, the tower. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's, hey, that's sick, dude. Yeah, I would definitely. Oh, yeah. An action oh, here, combat. It sounds. Mobile. It's so, <laughs> fuck. Oh, does it, what? Oh yeah, it's just a cuckoo scene. Oh my god. This is the 2D sc side scroller. They're gonna. Then they're gonna show the MOBA next, right? I think. No, they show the MOBA. Loop of the Abyss. Loop of the Abyss should be next after this. Yo, this the music is actually amazing. Right. I want to actually, actually use it for really my fun. video. Holy Knight? DPS? Yeah, this, this is and Mario Party. Yeah, Abyss Raid. This is the uh, Abyss. Loop of the Abyss. The fuck is this? It's the Beakus training. <laughs> yeah, it looks like... It is like a Mario Party thing. Mm -hmm. Nice counter. Nice counter. Mm, nice counter. Change you on the mechanics. Yeah. I see what they're saying about training. 
Oh, that makes sense. This is too much content. This is too much content. It's too much. It's way too much. It's too much. What the fuck is their budget Please like? more. I want more. Right. Thank you, whales everywhere. I want to give you a big shout out. Number two MMO has big budget boys. What can we say? Holy shit, it's snowing outside. The whales. What the fuck them. is this? Oh. Dude, it's snowing outside. What? Good morning. Power defense. <laughs> what is happening here? Power defense in uh, Lost Ark. That's pretty sweet. Game has everything now, guys. Wow. You can. So, like, our users able to just make stuff? so cool two hours and 49 minutes into it we are talking even more content there is a crush slash affection um addition to Cillin and nina nina bus nina i can't remember the, the korean name um but that that's being added there and also a music box of memory i literally wrote question mark not sure because i really wasn't that sure but here's what it says music box of memory new collectible content whale mate story special hidden quests ordinary people's story if one of you guys know exactly what this is be be sure to explain to me because I, I i i was hearing what they were saying but i wasn't exactly sure how this was going to work but more content right at the end of the day uh then they went over the wisdom festival event there's a festival event coming out uh and then updates to the housing system Pretty big updates to the housing system. Indoor housing system has been added. Trophy room to show off all your achievements. Achievements and trophies that we were talking about earlier at the beginning as they're adding that stuff. And a, ma and a mannequin system. So really good stuff if you're in into the housing system there. Uh, and the next thing we're gonna go over is a quick little timeline here. And I, it, I didn't bother translating this because I have a different one uh, that's going to be following right after this that, uh, that I did translate to kind of give you a, an idea on exactly how the roadmap of it is going to be structured uh and that was essentially followed by an announcement of another story express and hyper express and again if, if you guys aren't playing in the kr region this is this really doesn't apply to really any of you guys and that's why again that's why i didn't bother um adding any uh, images or anything for, for this stuff because this is just unique to the korean server essentially these are just more uh catch-up mechanics for people that are trying to get to end game for new players uh yada 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 um and then they also announced that they're making lost our credit cards for Korea, which this also applies to to well, maybe less than one percent of you and then finally a summary roadmap <laughs> here we go here's the roadmap here um and as you can see I, I did my best to try and translate most of it here um december hyper express event dx11 content system acrestia season 2 convenience rowing continent and then as we go into january the painter class is going to be revealed or is going to be released uh, followed by the turbic realm vs realm uh royal rotors tournament test server esther gear changes more convenience changes and then into march april it's going to go into elgasia into elgasia after story cuckoo hell abyss raid and class balance uh so here's the roadmap if you are if you guys are curious as to uh what it's going to be like it's what it's going to be looking like in the next few months here um and then finally the announcement of the royal routers tournament huge purse here a hundred thousand dollar equipment which is after exchange rate about ninety thousand usd is going to be what they're going to be what's going to be what the teams are going to pl be playing for this is not the winning share it is the purse the total prize money so i don't know exactly how much the winning team is going to get but the 100k purse is is a pretty fucking big one and then they're also doing a lot of offline stuff as well uh they're they're gonna have a loa concert um online good shop offline good shop art books and then they're giving out a lot of freebie stuff as well and another thing that they said they were inspired were inspired by was the arcane um netflix league of legends arcane stuff so they, they said do expect to see a bunch of like spin-off stuff and animations and cg movies and and all that good stuff as they are starting to branch out and expand the lost ark world into just more categories i guess but yeah guys that pretty much does it um i try to get through this as fast as i can um i didn't want this to be like a one hour video but i wanted to go over 
everything a little bit more in detail to just catch you up to speed. This was a lot of content, obviously, right? And I did my best to TLDR it. Um, I want to apologize for the quality of the video. I'm trying to get this out as soon as possible. I've not been getting much sleep. I literally just streamed this whole thing and organizing all this stuff and cutting out all these images and, and translating. I'm, I'm just like, oh, but anyways, I'm totally done. I'm going to catch up on some sleep here now. Catch me on Twitch again. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.